Hi, my name is Matt, and somebody asked me to make a Pokemon, and since that Pokemon's a gamer type, I thought I'd make it. Oh, and the Pokemon's Sableye. So, to start, I get a bunch of pinks, mix them together into a slightly grayish pink. Then, I make an armature out of some paper clips and aluminum foil. Starting, I make a base of their arms and legs out of paper clips and then I cover it in aluminum foil and then out of clay to make it stick. All right, so I have the body and the legs and the arms all covered in clay. And first, I make the arm hairs, then I make the feet with its claws, and then I make the gems. So to start, I make the red gem color, the blue gem color, and then after that, I make the green gem color. So, now that I have all those gem colors, I make the gems. These gems are just smaller circles at this point. All of the gems on the back are just circle shapes with the gem on the front having pointed edges, which will be shown later. So first I made the green one, then the red one, then the blue one. Then I made the gem on the front of him, which is red with some points on the end. So then I baked them and I sh shoved them into the body starting in the, with the front gem, and then moving that over to the gem on the back. Then, I add balls for the hands, because I I need more clay for the hands, so I put some clay on the hands, and then I shape it into a hand shape with three claws, and then I give it some, like, actual claws out of a lighter pink. Wait, no, a lighter purple. Then I position all of the fingers to go downwards, and then I copy that over for the other hand. Then I start making the head by having a egg shape with cuts through it. The cuts aren't necessary, but I just did it to make the head have a point in the front. And then, and then I make the gem eyes, the two diamonds that he has for eyes out of the blue clay, by making a little hockey puck and then making cuts out of it, and then cutting the, all of the sides out of it into six, si cutting it six times. And then I just copy that over one more time for both eyes, and I bake it. So then I attach the head to the body, and once the head is fully attached, I attach the eyes to the head. So you get both of those eyes there and shove them in, then I made the ears by flattening out some clay, making it a little pattern, and blending it into the head. So, once those get blended in, it's time to bake it to finish off the design. So, once it gets baked, now it's time for a base. So, I make the base out of some green clay, flatten it, and then I just put it on there, and then I bake the base. So, once that gets stuck on there, it's time... For it to be over. So, this project was the result of somebody asking me to do something. I'll usually take requests as long as I'm not dead set on what I'm making next week. So, my schedule is I usually post a video and then start working on the next one right after on... I post the videos on Friday, and I start working on usually Saturday. So, if you want to make want me to make something, and you're watching this on a Saturday, don't worry, I'm probably already making the next thing. 